Leaked photos of an iPhone 5S show us some apparent changes. Sony's next event teases us a new smartwatch, and it seems like we might be getting a Windows Phone HTC One. I'm Jaime Rivera, waiting for the weekend like there's no tomorrow. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some interesting news. You know, everybody mocked Apple when they came up with the retail stores, and now we've got Microsoft stores and Samsung stores inside of Best Buy. And even though Google doesn't have their own retail brick and mortar store, well, they have been trying a project in Indonesia called Android Nation, which is a retail store for their partner products. And apparently the company is now doing the same thing within India. The question is, why haven't they brought this to the United States? And the question is, if you would like a retail store from Google to promote partner Android products. I think it would be a good idea. Leave us a comment down below if you would want one. Moving over to HTC, new reports have the company working on a Windows Phone variant of the HTC One. And this is not new. The company has done this before. Just begs to wonder why HTC hasn't done it before. And probably the answer is because obviously Windows Phone hasn't really taken off as many have expected it. But the question is now to you. Would you like a Windows Phone HTC One? I would. Now let's talk about Apple's iPhone 5S or whatever Apple's gonna call that thing. We've got the first leaked photograph of what the phone is gonna look like and well, it's got some hardware differences that you didn't see between the 4 and 4S or 3G and 3GS. This time we get a dual LED flash and we also get a bigger battery in comparison to the current iPhone 5. And well, obviously, you know, Apple does a lot of prototyping. This could be just a tester of what a dual LED flash would do for the iPhone. I don't think it would do much, but anyways, let's see what Apple brings to the table eventually. It'll probably happen in October. LG is up next as the company is now sending out press invites for an event to happen on August 7th and that's not IFA in Berlin. IFA is happening on the first week of September so the question is what are we getting? The reports have it that the company is launching their LG Optimus G2 which would probably be the first smartphone out there with the Snapdragon 800 processor to launch as it happened with the S4 Pro on the Optimus G and obviously we do have a very interesting design coming with this phone. It's very much expected so stay tuned for the rumors. This would be a very good phone for many. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, you know, Sony is not new to smartwatches. They're actually one of the first companies to come out with a concept years ago, and we all know that crashed and burned. Now the company is sending out press invites for a June 26th event to happen in China, and judging by the teasers, everything is about a smartwatch. And the question is, what could this new smartwatch do that the previous one didn't in order for it to be interesting? So that leads me to the question of the day. What would you want from a smartwatch? What specific feature do you think would be the killer feature that would make you want to use a smartwatch? In my particular case, a watch for me is more of a fashion statement, so I would really want that thing to be elegant, useful, and not necessarily just a companion for my smartphone. I would love for it to do something that's better than a smartphone, but you know, that would allow me not to need to pull it out, but do it better than the smartphone. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. What would be your killer feature? And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tele world, make sure you follow us on Vaganow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on Monday.